Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and over here in this box are four rolls of eSun's CMYK filament. Now CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and well, the K technically stands for key, which in traditional cases, key is going to be black. But in this case, we're dealing with white. So we've got cyan, magenta, yellow, and white filament. And there's a really good reason as to why these four particular colors are being bundled together and being labeled as CMYK. And that's because these four filaments are what's going to make up the basis for creating multicolored lithophanes. So if you aren't familiar with 3D printed lithophanes, it's a really cool thing. So basically they're photographs and when you print them, they're gonna look entirely white, just like this. But when you shine a light through the back of them, that image becomes illuminated and you can see the photo in its entirety. And that alone is really, really cool. But using CMYK filament is gonna allow us to make a multicolored version of that so that you can recreate the colors that are inside of that photo Photograph. And that's where the magic happens with these four types of filaments, these four colors, because they are going to layer on top of each other in order to recreate the colors of your photo. So for example, even though there's no green filament in this bundle, if your photo has green in it, you're going to get colors that layer on top of each other to produce a green. Or if your photo has purple in it, there's no purple in this filament, but the colors are going to be layered to create purple in the end. And the other great thing about lithophanes is they don't require a lot of filament to make, even when you're doing multicolor. Now I made mines on the Bamboo Lab A1 with the AMS light. And even though I'm doing that in multicolor and there were purges throughout the prints, the purge was actually quite small. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. There's not going to be a ton of waste involved in this. Now, how long it's going to take to make a multicolor lithophane is going to depend on how big the picture is, and it's also going to depend on the nozzle that you're using. It is recommended that you use a 0.2 millimeter nozzle, but you can still use the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And I've got a couple of examples of each, one that I printed with a 0.4, one that I printed with a 0.2. And through the examples that I'm going to show you today, they took anywhere from around five to six hours all the way up to 18 hours and that was with the 0.2 millimeter nozzle. Now you can also take it one step further because Bamboo Lab sells an LED backing board that you can use to illuminate your lithophanes and you can buy that and then you can print out a frame and then you can print out an additional piece that goes into the frame and it's connected through USB-C. So you can just plug that in and your lithophanes will be constantly lit. So if you want to use it as a decoration piece somewhere around the house, the office, the wherever Ever, you can do that and it's going to look really, really awesome. All right, so let me tell you about the process that I went through in order to get this set up and it couldn't have really been simpler. So all I did was just load up all four colors into the AMS light and I went into the filament settings right there on the printer and I assigned it the default profile for the eSun PLA+. Now that's already inside of the Bamboo Lab A1 fresh out of the box. So I just used that profile and I roughly assigned the colors to it that were as close as I could possibly get to the CMYK filament. So I just told the AMS, hey, this is pink, even though you know the real color is magenta, I knew that it was actually pink. So that's all that I did. I just used the default profiles for everything. I didn't do any tweaking. I didn't do any customizations, anything like that. I wanted to see how simple the process was going to be and what the results were like. Just plug and play. And the results were pretty fantastic. So now let me show you how the lithophanes turned out. Let's start with this one. Now, this is one that I printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And this is of a character that looks like they're from Dragon Ball, but I'm not sure if they actually are. It looks like Broly, but it might not be. But either way, it is a very cool piece of artwork. And as you're looking at this with the light shown behind it, you can see that this just turned out amazingly. Now, the colors that came out here, even though there are very selective number of colors, we still see colors that weren't originally present inside of the AMS. We do have the yellow for his hair, but then there's also shades of orange. There's a little bit of red in there as well. We got some darker colors looking a little bit black, and that is just really cool because like I said, those colors are not what was in the AMS to begin with. So that just shows how the CMYK filament works 
through all the layering and the mixing of the colors to create colors that weren't there originally. And the effect that you get from these multicolor lithophanes, it has a very sort of dreamy appearance to it. It's not going to look like a super sharp photo that you're looking at like in a magazine or something like that. It's going to look somewhat surreal and those colors are just going to pop and it's it's going to look really really cool so this one came out well even with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle now this next one i printed with the 0.2 millimeter nozzle and it took more than 18 hours to print and it is of the joker looks like joaquin phoenix's joker and when i hold this guy up to the light this this is a wonderful example of how a multicolor lithophane can look. I mean, check out some of these colors that weren't originally present. We've got green in there. There's also a little bit of black in the background. There's a little bit of orange. We got the red for his smile across the face. And the effect that this one produces is even more of a, of a dreamy look. It's a much smoother look. This one looks like that 0.2 millimeter nozzle just, it just took the filament and just made it a lot more smoother. Like everything just melted together super smoothly. And this just came out just beautiful. To show this off as a lithophane, as someone who hasn't seen it before, this is going to be the eye catcher for sure. Now this last one here is of a photograph that I took in Chicago some time ago and I ran it through some lithophane software and I sliced it in Bamboo Studio and that is how this one was created and this is how it turned out. The first thing that I noticed is that it did manage to recreate some of the brown that was on the buildings. It was like some brown sort of brick buildings that was there. So I'm glad that it was able to capture that. The sky was completely blue. So aside from a couple of clouds and they managed to get those up there as well. Got the green in the foreground for the trees and then the buildings in the back, they were really, really far away. So it was interpreted through the software that these were mostly blue, if anything else. And that's why the background is looking kind of blue right there for the buildings. But it did manage to create the nice yellow and brown effects of the buildings that were closer to the foreground. And this was of an actual real photo that I took, so it's not artwork. And I'm still happy with how this one turned out as well. So as you can see, these are all different sizes, but this one here is an example of one that would fit inside of the frame that Bamboo Lab created along with the LED board that they created, but you don't have to make it these sizes. You can make them whatever size that you want for your particular needs, and then you can just choose to color them in whatever way that you want. But yeah, if you're looking for a 3D printing project and you haven't tried lithophanes before, I highly recommend that you give these a shot, especially if you want to do multicolor. You can pick up this bundle of these four filaments here from Esun. Again, links in the description. And based on my experience using it with the Bamboo Lab A1, I didn't have to do anything. It just worked. I slapped them onto the AMS, chose the default profile, and then everything just laid down nice and smoothly. I didn't have any failures. I didn't have any problems with these prints whatsoever. But before I go, if I can give you one word of advice, if you want to take it, you can also apply an outer brim to them. And by applying that brim, you'll be able to cut down on the chances of the corners curling up during the printing process. Sometimes that stuff happens, sometimes it doesn't happen, but considering how long it's gonna take some of these lithophanes to print, like this Joker here, I think it would be a good idea to put a brim on it just to give you a little bit more security in that these corners are gonna stay nice and flat on the print bed. And then you can peel the brim off pretty easily and any remnants that might be left over from that brim, you can get yourself a hobby knife, X-Acto knife, whatever you have, and just cut it right right along the edge, nice and smooth. It should be a nice sharp blade, so it should be a nice clean cut. And then you can clean up those edges and then everything will be nice and smooth from there. So just a little tip for you. So that is it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you are interested in other videos like this that are 3D printing related, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I always have more coming and some more videos coming up soon, including one that's gonna show you how you can take your own photographs and create multicolored lithophane from that photograph. All right, so that video is coming up, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon.